Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, welcome if you're new. Uh, my name is Cameron. I am here on Flosstube. I go by Cam the Stitcher on Instagram and here on YouTube. This is a channel about cross stitch and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the gist. Um, I wanted to film this way sooner, um, but life, so I didn't. Um, I kind of am feeling like the new schedule, the new cadence of videos is going to be every three weeks, possibly. We'll see. Um, but I wanted to come on here and talk about my stitching. I want to talk about market because I did go. I promise I made it. Um, I know there was not a lot of evidence. <laughs> My fault. But I did go and I had a blast. So I kind of want to talk about that. I wanted to show you my goodies that I got there. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's it. So this will be like a market recap, mostly um, floss tube, but on the first half, we're just gonna do a floss tube regular update. I'm gonna show you um, a couple of new starts and I'm gonna show you a finish and one whip. I really only have had a chance to work on one whip, I think so far. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first, I feel like I should start with my whip. Let's do my one whip, get that out of the way. Um, this is one of my favorite whips. This is Mary Morgan's by Fox and Rabbit. Um, I, this is one of my whip go goals for this month in March. That's where we are. Yes. And today is March 15th, by the way. Hello. Um, I can't believe the month has already gone by like that. Uh, but we're here. So, um, I wanted to get some work in on this cause I have a pretty lofty goal on, on Mary Morgan's, but um, I've worked on it the past few days, so let me show you where I was last time you saw it, and then I'm going to try to show you where I am this time. So, um, I have gotten a lot of progress, even though it might not look like it. <laughs> um, the last time you saw it, um, I don't think I had, like, any of this done. It was mostly just the rows. So what I worked on this time was I came down and um, finished out a lot of this little bud here, um, this big leaf, and then I have started this huge leaf. Um, and I am so excited to not be in the middle of this sampler anymore. <laughs> I, this is gorgeous, and I think that if you start this project in the middle, you might be better. I just feel like I've been working in this area for over a year, and I know that I'm being dramatic, and that's not the case. But anyways, so I did take a break, though, yesterday um, from this area, and I went up here, and I started finishing out this leaf. Um, so that's kind of where it is. This is stitched on 40 count platinum Zweigart. Um, I love this fabric. It's just a really good, I wanted the colors to pop. I didn't want modeling um, for this piece in particular, just because the colors on this are like insane. So I think I have, do I have my colors? No. I'm still working off, this is old school. This is one of the first pieces I ever started. Um, I have all my DMC on that, so. That's what it's looking like. I'm putting this away for now. I got about 1,300 stitches on this so far this month. I wanna get about 900 more stitches on this, so I'm gonna pull it out later in the month and work on it for um, about two days to finish out that goal. So I'm excited. I'm on track, at least on this one. <laughs> So that is the one whip I really have to show you. Um, now I can show you some finishes. Well, just one really actually. Um, when I went to market, I took one piece of stitching with me. Well, I took two. So I did bring my vanity sampler um, to show um, Liz from Hello from Liz Matthews. I wanted to show her that in person and I did get to do that. Uh, but I also brought my second day of Christmas because I wanted to finish that out in the month of February. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, and I'm sure you've heard this before, no stitching was done at market. Not one single stitch was put in. Um, and I traveled down by myself. I um, drove the entire time. So there was no like travel stitching for me. Um, but that's okay. I got back from market and I um, whipped it out and we got it done. And if you follow me on Instagram, I already took a picture and posted on there. But this is my finished second day of Christmas. <laughs> it is finally done. So I am back on track with uh, my goal to finish one of these trees every other month. Um, Bridgen, my friend, the museum stitcher, uh, we are both doing that. Um, she's doing the samplers all on one big piece of fabric. I'm doing the trees all on different pieces of fabric and we are trying to get these done so that by the I think we're trying to get them all done by 2026 um, or the beginning of 2026 so I'm very excited um, um this is stitched on 36 count ivy linen by fiber on a whim um, with one strand of DMC the color changes I made, I made the snowflakes white. I just used, I don't know, B5200 or something. And then um, everything that was called for in 310, I switched out for 3021 to match my first day of Christmas. And if you notice, and I was going to change out all of the, almost all of the initials in the houses to be like windows or doors, but I put my initials in this big house. I put my boyfriend's initials in this house. And then he was like, wait, you can put our cat's name in the rest of the houses. So you can see V-I-N-D-A-L-O-O. -O. So it's me, my boyfriend, and then Vindaloo. Vindaloo gets four houses between between her. Um, and we only get one, one house each. So <laughs> I thought that was funny. And like, you would only know if you knew, you know what I mean? And years down the line, uh, Vindaloo will live forever. I'll figure that out somehow. Um, <laughs> but I can like tell people like, oh yeah, that was my cat. So yeah, I love this. I When I first started this on this fabric, I was a little nervous. But I think with the white snowflakes, I think this pops really nicely. It's really hard to photograph, but this is like such a perfect like evergreen greeny bluey teal color it's so pretty I think it does I think it does pull more green in person than it's showing on camera but yeah so that is the second day of Christmas I'll I have them all in the same bag so I'll show you my first day of Christmas really quickly this one for some reasons like more wrinkled but <laughs> this is my first day of Christmas I'm so excited to have two of these done these are gonna look so cool, like hanging next to each other. I'm so excited. Okay, so with that, I went ahead and started the third day of Christmas. So I'll pop a picture up of what that looks like. And then um, let me show you my start. So I started in the middle. I started in the middle on all of these. And that is my little itty bitty start. So I am stitching this on 36 count fiber on a whim linen in the color hibiscus I should know that it's either hibiscus or persimmon but I'm almost positive it's hibiscus this is such a pretty color and I feel like next to the because again these are going to go in order on like a garland that I'm thinking next to this this is a vibe I'm loving the blue on this fabric and so I decided to with the help of some of my friends input I decided to put um to change the snowflakes to be that blue all over the piece and then again just like the other two everything that's called for in 310 i'm gonna do in the 3021 so i really like it there's my little hen it's adorable so um i got a little start on that I need to get about 1500 stitches done on this this month just to reach a halfway point so that this can be done by the end of April. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, this one's going, I think this one has less stitching. I need to look, I don't remember, but I think this one has less stitching than 
the second day of Christmas and maybe the first day of Christmas as well. So I think I'm on track. Okay, the next new start, I started this on the 13th <laughs> of March, so um, two days ago. Uh, my friend Bridget in the Museum Stitcher had a birthday and she turned um, 26, yes. I think she turned 26 and she wanted to have a little start and um, even though we are doing low starts this year, I think birthdays are a really great way to celebrate and have a new start, especially if, like with your friends, it's nice. So she picked this pattern by Lucy Beam. It's called Cross Stitch Makes Everything Okayer. And it's just five um, colors, like very easy to just pull from stash. This is such a great stash buster. And so what I ended up doing was I picked out these three colors these three colors, are you kidding? Um, I just said five. They're all color and cottons. Um, I've had most of these for a while. I think some of them might be newer. And then here is my start. This is stitched on a 40 count Be Stitch Me fabric in the color Ledger. I think it was a fabric of the month last year. And I've got a good portion. I just worked on this the, the one night um, I'm using this winter tide for the letters, which I'm loving. I went a little bit lighter on the letters. I'm using fuzzy sock for the flower, um, memorial for the inside of the flower, which is a really light blue, but it looks white. So I was like, let me use that. I'm using lily pad for the leaves. And then for the one or two dots of yellow, um, this really beautiful yellow, this golden yellow. I want to use this particular yellow in like so many pieces. I'm really liking it. Very striking, but you're not gonna see big swaths of it in this <laughs> piece. <laughs> so yeah, that is all I got to, but I might pull this out later this month to try to get a little bit more progress. This will be a quick finish but I have other goals that I wanna to get to, so she's going away for now. Okay, with that, I have one more new start, but this gets into market talk, so get ready, I guess. <laughs> I'm just like, it was crazy, but before I get into talking about it, um, I was invited to help, be a helper for Kathy Barrick. Um, she is one of my favorite designers of all time, and it was such a pleasure to be able to help her and um, be sitting in a room with her and chatting and just, um, it was so cool too, because like really, obviously we're there to pull charts, take, you know, take orders, things like that, do whatever the designer needs us to do. Um, but part of that job also is like when people walk into her room and are looking at all the beautiful, beautiful displays um, and all the models, um, part of it's just being her hype woman and just being like, isn't that gorgeous? I know. And like just talking about like, it was just a weekend full of talking about stitching, which I know a lot of people talk about like retreats or that and you know, like things, it's just so nice to be around people that get it. And when I try to talk about the experience or like what market is to people in my real life, so to speak, um, they're like, oh, cool. Like, that's exciting for you. You know, and it's like they don't quite get it. <laughs> so it was really awesome to be her hype woman. Um, but going into that, um, one of the um, charts that she released, one of her new releases is was one of my favorites, my top like three. Um, I did talk about it in my last video of my top market picks and seeing the model in person really solidified it. So this is Caught in the Swirl by Kathy Barrick. It comes with this bigger design and then this little pin cushion as well. And it is gorgeous. And I had to start this. Um, Bridget and I decided to start this, I think the Sunday after we got back from market. I pulled the DMC for this chart and I am stitching this on a 40 count Be Stitch Me fabric and the color Lunar. I did put it up to a vote on Instagram and the lighter green fabric won, but I changed my mind and I actually like it more on this gray. So <laughs> you can kind of see, let me get there we go. 
So I started in the middle. Bridgen started hers as well, but she started in the corner. The right hand corner, I believe, or no, left hand corner. Um, that swirl is everything. I'm loving it. And again, I'm just doing this on the call with the called for DMC. It's looking gorgeous. The DMC, when you like look at the pattern and then you look at the DMC, you're like, oh, that's much too bright, but it's not. It looks, especially with these leaves, like it looks right. Hold on, let me, a little bit of a mess. I don't have them on a ring, but. So those are the two greens that you're gonna be working with the most. And this is such a nice contrast. I really love it. Um, so yeah, that is where I'm at on that. I'm probably gonna pull this out uh, throughout the month and just get a couple stitches on it. Um, try to get it to 10%. Um, my new rule with new starts is I want to try to get it to 10%, um, unless it's like, an, like a huge, huge pattern, which I'm not really starting a lot of those anyways, so um, that shouldn't be a problem, but yeah, I'm loving it. This is such a perfect piece of fabric. And yeah, that was part of my haul, obviously. So that is the last piece of stitching I have to show you. But um, now I'm going to get into market talk, my haul, and a little bit of stitchy kindness as well. So let's do that. So first, um, again, I just want to thank, I want to thank a lot of people. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Bridgen, the museum stitcher. Um, you know, she's the only reason this happened. She was invited by Liz, um, hello from Liz Matthews, to be a helper in her room. And um, Kathy needed a helper and Liz reached out to Bridgen and asked if she knew anyone and Bridgen put my name out there. So I very much appreciate those two ladies. Um, I wanna thank Kathy Barrick from the bottom of my heart. It was such a pleasure to be at Market and to be in that environment and to chat with you and all the things. Um, that woman is amazing. Like if you ever get to meet her and like look at her models in person, if there's ever a trunk show for Kathy Barrick anywhere near you, <laughs> make a trip. Um, I fell in love with so many charts that of course you see it like, I love her charts. Like I look at them on Etsy. I'm like, oh yeah, that one's cool. Like whatever. But seeing them in person is like, okay, well now I have to do it. Um, and I know a lot of people feel that way. So that was really awesome. Um, I want to thank Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. She was so lovely. Um, we got to meet her. She was a helper as well for Hello from Liz Matthews. And we got lunch with her um, that Friday that we came in. And she just like, you know, showed, she was just like, she'd done it before. So like she got to show us the ropes too. And just, um, it was, it was so nice having someone there that was also a helper last year. And it was just like, it, it was, it was just so fun and I hope that I get to go again next year um, as a helper again. I had a blast. So yeah, I will drive that 10 hours. I'm going to do it again. Like <laughs> it was so fun. Um, I got to meet so many people and I took absolutely no pictures. Um, luckily, Elizabeth Ann grabbed a picture with me. I think that was about it. I got some pictures and some video footage of Kathy Barrick's models and that is about it. I did not have my phone out the entire time. I wasn't text like texting back anybody. Um, I like literally like my boyfriend, my, my dad, like my sister, people were texting me. I was like, oh, I'll get back to you in three business days. Like it was so funny. I just was so off my phone. And even when we weren't at market like helping, I was with Bridgen, so, and I, this was the first time I got to meet her in person. I picked her up from the airport on Friday, um, and it was just, like, it's, I'm, like, trying not to cry, so sorry. Um, it was so weird, because we've been talking online for about a year, you know, um, or a little bit more than a year. Like, we started chatting online maybe in, um, late January or, or early February of, 2023 so this was the first time meeting her in person like she like got in my car like my car she gets in my car where I'm like we're seeing each other face to face it's just it's I know like I see her I talk to her every day but it was just like this is so weird in like such a good way um and we chatted the whole time I know I'm 
I'm a talker um, and we just t talked like the whole time. Um, we got dinner, we got lunch with Elizabeth Ann on Friday and we were all chatting, it was so lovely. Um, we got to see Elizabeth Ann's yarn haul, um, which was so fun. And then I think Friday night, we were so exhausted. We didn't end up doing dinner. Like we went and just got like a snack and, um, you know, went back to the hotel and got, we went to bed very early Friday night. And then Saturday we get up, you know, we go, we get coffee. Saturday was the big, like the most full day started market started at 9am. It ended at six. That was a long day and it's just, it's a lot of socializing, which I am like a, I'm in the middle of being an extrovert and an introvert. I can definitely put myself out there, but I also like my social battery at some point starts to run low, you know? Um, on Saturday, I got to meet Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs, which I, luckily she kind of, she ended up like, <laughs> coming into the I didn't know she was there like well around and she like came in and like grabbed me and I I was so like taken aback that I um controlled myself and I didn't cry so that was good um Carrie's just such a lovely person and she was one of the first floss tubers that I found um when I was going through a lot of changes in my life at the end of 2021 and she's just such a comfort watch for me and so meeting her in person was amazing um, we do need to get together because we live probably about 10 minutes away from each other, which is ridiculous, but, um, you know, life lives. So, <laughs> but yeah, that was so awesome to meet her. I met, um, Sarah from Sarah Memphis E. I met Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. And I bought a couple of fabrics. I'll show you that soon. Um, I met so many designers and so many shop owners and i met the ladies from whips and sips i don't know if i've ever mentioned them on my channel they're one of my like favorite floss tube duos i love them um so if you have not given whips and sips a watch go to their channel now watch them start from video one i mean i could i love they usually put out a video like on a sunday or something um and they're just such lovely ladies so I got to meet them as well which was awesome I feel like I got to meet Michelle Bendy which was also awesome um I met Jesse from Miss Laid Pages I met so many I'm like trying to remember everyone we tried Bridget and I on Sunday were able to go shopping um and kind of hop around and we didn't even hit all the rooms we wanted to hit because like we forgot to go to some rooms and then like by the time it's like the end of the day so um but it was really cool um and yeah I'll never forget it and I want to go back next year and um it was it's weird that I decided to put videos on YouTube about cross stitch in the, within this niche community and not only was I able to go to market this year, I have also made like lifetime long friends via the internet and via cross stitch. And I'll never get over that. I simply will not. <laughs> like, it's just, you don't. I like, I know this sounds like it's just so crazy. Like I used to watch like Megan, the Seattle Stitcher. I used to watch Megan. I used to watch Bridget and the Museum Stitcher when they first started their channels. And, you know, I loved watching them and it was so cool to see people my age in this community. And then like, and then I, they started to chat with me and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and now we're, we literally talk every day. And Marjorie, like, she watched them too. I had just started putting out videos. Marjorie reached out to me and like, it's just this, it's just insane. Like these are women that are now in my life that like I want them to come to my wedding. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy. I cannot wait for StitchCon. This was like a little taste because I've never been to a big retreat. Um, and I'm, I was very nervous to go to StitchCon, but now I'm still nervous, but I'm definitely not as nervous. I feel like this was a really good experience for that. Um, 
but anyways I know I'm gonna be I have forgotten like probably a billion things that I wanted to say but let's go ahead and get into market haul and um, I will chat about some of the charts that I got while I was there but first I do want to say I put in an order with Abby Topknot. I did get to meet Abby as well. Um, if you go to topknotstitcher.com, she is like amazing with how like organized the website is and everything. I wanted to support her. So um, I purchased a piece of fabric and some over dyed flosses from her. And then I also or put in an order from Lindy Stitches, um, which by the way, the shipping was so quick. So I ordered after I came back from market and this is some of the things I ordered. I ordered some over dyed floss, but I also wanted to pick up the 2024 Prairie Schooler Santa. This sold out while I was at market, so I did not have a chance to pick it up there. And I'm so glad I got my hands on it. I love the back stitching on this one this year. It's very cute. And then um, I picked up Strawberry Dream by Carriage House Samplings. This also sold out at market. Um, this was in Kathy's room, so I got to see them. I got to stare at the model quite a bit. And it's so teeny tiny and cute. Um, and so I picked this up as well. I love it. It has a recipe on the back. Um, this is part of the From Trudy's Kitchen series. And it's got a recipe for strawberry shortcake on the back. So I'm kind of excited about that. I love strawberry shortcake. Let's get into actual haul from market. Um, <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's get through this. So first I'm going to show you the two fabrics that I got from Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, I, let me take these out of the bag because I really need you to see the full breadth of these fabrics. I've never worked with um, Forbidden Fiber Co.'s fabric before, but I do love their threads. So the first one I got, this is in the colorway Resolution, I believe that I have that right. Nope, this is the other one, so sorry. This is in the colorway Hibiscus, and this is a 40 count linen. And this is what it looks like. The modeling on this is absolutely insane. So I have no idea what I'm gonna put on this yet. Um, it's a 40 count, so I'm thinking like a really, I think a sampler would look you know what would look great on this vanity sampler with my conversion unfortunately though I've already started that so <laughs> um but I'm excited to find a piece that'll go on this um she has a lot of really beautiful color fabrics especially if you're a fancy lady stitcher um if you get some of her fabrics in 28 count 32 count or um like 14 count ada whatever like that's this would be a fancy lady would be beautiful on this all right, the next fabric I got, this is the one that is called Resolution and it is a 36 count linen. And I already have a piece that I have in mind for this. So here is that. Oh, I love this. It's so grungy and fun. I am thinking of putting Kathy Barrick's um, I've had it kitted forever, but I definitely did not have a good fabric for it. It's the Witch Training Academy. It's the one with like, oh, I'll put a picture up, obviously. Um, I have the pattern already kitted and everything with all the DMC. And I think this would be the perfect fabric um, to put that on. So those were the two pieces of fabric I got. Um, part of me wishes that I went a little crazier. <laughs> Dare I say, like, should I have gotten more? Um, but that's okay. I, I'm so excited I got those. All right, now we're gonna get into charts. One of the things I picked up, um, is from Heart and Hand. This is Floral Etchings 2. And I got to see the, obviously I got to see the models for most of these things. So it was really hard not to resist, obviously in person. And so I'm really excited to start this. I am getting, I think, most of the fancy floss for it um all the classic color works for it I'm gonna get and then pull the rest from stash so that's exciting um I also hopped in 
Annie B's folk arts room, which was so lovely because I walked in and um, Chelsea, her daughter, um, I think she's stitching Wren on Instagram. She recognized me and asked for a picture. That's one of the only, also the only pictures that are out there from me at market. Um, she was so lovely to talk to. And I, I talked about this in my last video. This was a must pick up for me. I am a sucker for days of Christmas, but I'm also a sucker for mini stockings. So I picked this up and the models in person were so cute. Um, and there are really detailed finishing instructions in the back of this book. So I'm, this is gonna be started before July. I have a feeling I really wanna get started on these. So, and I can try to show you a couple of the, let me see. Yeah, here's some pictures of, that's the sixth day of Christmas. Um, I don't wanna show you the actual charts here. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a little drum set, nutcracker, two turtle doves. Yeah, so these are amazing and I can't wait to start those. So that was really exciting. Um, Let's see, we also went to Shakespeare's Peddler's Room, which was, I'm not gonna lie, like, that room knocked my socks off. I was not, I, I like, ha I hadn't dived deep into Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, I think the only thing I picked up from there was this um, painted flower piece that Bridgen and I believe Liz also picked up. And I, I love that it's on a dark fabric. It's so beautiful. So I picked this up as well. Oh, the other thing I picked up in the heart and hand room, I went ahead and, cause it was there and I've been meaning to pick this up. I picked up Halloween Tiny Town. This one is not new. This one's been around for a while, but um, I've been wanting to pick this one up. So I picked that up as well. Then I went to, we went to Bendy Stitchy's room. So we met Michelle and um, I really wanted to pick up Pocketbook Peacocks. I think Bridgen also picked this up. I really want to start this. And I think I have the perfect fabric already that I want to um, start it on. So I picked that up. And then I picked up the Needle Heathen Biscornu. I thought this was so cute and I love a Biscornu finish. I really do. So I picked that up as well. I think I'm just gonna pull from stash on that. I think it's only three colors. Yeah, three colors. Um, it's charted in Threadworks, um, stitched on 32 count toasted almond from Witchell. That's gonna be a fun project. So I picked those two up from her. And then I got to go to, th this was like, here's the thing. I really, really, out of all the rooms, my priority was to go see um, Little Robin Designs. I love her patterns. I have the Charming Cow Sampler. I have um, Birdman Cometh. I started that last year. Um, I have a couple in stash and her releases at market were like, I wanted them all, but I um, controlled myself. So we went to her room and I did take a picture with her, <laughs> which was nice. And um, I picked up, this was my, like, I love, this was my favorite sampler that was um, released this year. This is Emma Thatcher, 1854 from Little Robin Designs. I really love the colors on this. And I'm thinking that I'm going to actually stitch this on the same Platinum Zweigart fabric that I'm stitching Mary Morgan's on because I think that just fits the vibe. And I'm gonna get the overdyes, almost all the overdyes for this. I'm gonna get all the classic color works and the gentle arts. And then I'm gonna swap the four weeks out for probably color and cotton stash or something like that. Um, I already gathered, I have one of the <laughs> overdyes sitting in this book, but I, I'm thinking of starting this late August because this is such like a late summer going into fall vibe for me. Um, and I'm, I don't, I'm not going to change any of the colors. I love it. It's muted, but it's, it has enough of a punch. I really like the golds with the like muted, like teals in here. 
I don't know. I think it's gorgeous. So I picked that up and then I also picked up the fragments from a sampler, Grace Gill 1858. As much as I wanted to stitch the whole sampler, which you can kind of see it's in the background here, I know for a fact that I really just want to stitch this cat and this griffin the most. And she was, uh, she was telling me that's why she made this separate offering. Um, so you get both of these charts in here. And I can't wait to stitch these two. That cat is redonkulous. I love him. So yeah, I picked that up as well. And then this was not a new release, but I saw the model in person and like I, it made me buy it. Um, this is Eliza Isom 1827. And it's just a, a petite little black sampler. It's stitched on 40 count x -Ju Designs Morning Coffee. It's only 140 by 153 and it's stitched in two Gentle Arts threads. I have some black silk from Stitchy Box and I think that would be perfect for this little piece. Just kidding, I forgot one. This is Lindy Stitches. This is Beachcomber. And I I love Lindy Stitches like style. I love how colorful it is. Um and that whale is just everything. I need that whale. So I don't know if I'm going to stitch the whole thing. I think part of me wants to make a little whale pillow out of that. And then I would love to make a little companion pillow for it. And I love the seal and like, I don't know, pick a couple of these creatures and then like intersperse it with these like seashell situations and make a little like, I don't know, I think that'd be so cute. So I picked that up as well. And then let's get into, let's see, let's do Hello from Liz Matthews first. Um, and then we'll end out with Kathy. So I'm gonna show you um, her new releases. Thank you, Liz, for um, giving these new releases to me. And um, I picked up some other charts from her as well. And they were very generous, her and Kathy both. Um, so this is a Buzz at Midnight. My friend Bridget and the Museum Stitcher model stitched this. I'm telling you the model in person looks like it is glowing. It's like this beehive situation is like glowing off this sapphire blue fabric from Fiber on a Whim. I'm not that much of a bee person, but I want to stitch this. It's gore. It's literally so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy I have this. I know <laughs> Bridgen may not want to stitch this again, um, but I believe she got a copy as well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I want to stitch that. This was another new release. This is Cottontail. And this little pillow is what I want to do. It's stitched on 56 count, which I've never done before. So I think I'm going to order a little piece of 56 count um, linen from just like a, I think I'm going to do pearl gray um, from Zweigart. And I think I'm going to do a conversion to a little lavender purple bunny. I think that would be cute. So this was so cute. I love it. And then if I do, maybe I am going to become like a spring decorator and just have like beehives and bunnies everywhere. <laughs> That sounds so cute. Um, this was another new release. This is the Remember Me um, sampler and tree. I have not decided which one I want to stitch, the tree or the sampler. The sampler is such a cute little square situation, but I am partial to Liz's trees. So I haven't decided. I mean, it's not that that's hard. It's like either way, I'm going to be happy with the final product. Like it's, it's so pretty. And I think it's stitched on, I know the tree, yeah, the tree's just stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha, which is awesome. Really accessible fabric. So yeah. And then I think this was probably her showstopper. I don't know if it was I think her best seller, I don't know. It was kind of like tied. Um, I know like the 10th day of Christmas, I think took the, took the metal home. But um, this spring house is so pretty. 
I need to order the fabrics for this. And yeah, I'm just obsessed. I'm gonna make the little um, cat in the window. I need to make her gray to match my cat. But yeah, I think that's the only change I'll make. I love it. And this is stitched on two different fabrics. Um, the top portion is 36 count night sky by Fiber on a Whim. And then the bottom is 36 count Cypress. So I'm gonna order Cypress. And then I think night sky's sold out at the moment or I, ca I can't find it. So I might do a different color, but we'll see. Then her bestseller, and this was, uh, obviously you know that I'm stitching all the days of Christmas. The 10th day of Christmas tree is so good. And I'm so happy that she put it on a colored fabric, like the blue. This is also Sapphire by Fiber on a Whim was one of their new releases. And I just love Santa Leapin. I love it. So I'm also gonna stitch this on a blue fabric. Um, and I kind of have an idea. I, I pretty much have the rest of my fabrics planned out for the rest of my trees. Obviously the only ones I don't have planned out is the 11th and the 12th day that have not been released yet. So I was really happy that this came out on a blue fabric because I believe that on, yes, the fifth day of Christmas with the rings, I'm also doing that on a blue fabric. So I'll have, I'm very particular. Like I can't have the fabrics repeat, like sit next to each other, the same fabrics. So. <laughs> it worked out. I love it. Um, and this is the last new release she had. This is You've Got the Love, and it comes with two different patterns. Obviously, um, these and then this cute little love script. And this is such a good, like, smalls exchange of really cute springy val- I mean, you can make it really whatever you want. You can pick whatever colors. Um, it doesn't have to be, like, Valentine's Day. It could be, like, a Mother's Day thing. It could be- you can make it Christmas colors. Or you can make it anything. I think it's so pretty. So that was another new release. And then um, I picked up three other charts. These are um, older charts of hers that, again, I just saw the model in person. I own a lot of Hello from Liz Matthews charts. So um, even, she was so generous, but I was like, Liz, I uh, most of these I have as whips. They're in my stash already, like, <laughs> or they're finishes. So Anyways, this is my home in the garden. These, this is stitched in Gloriana's. And like as much as I want the Gloriana's, I'm like, I, it's gonna be gorgeous in DMC. And it is. Although I'm thinking with this outer border, I could totally pick some color and cotton stash to kind of show that variegation. But anyways, this is gorgeous. I believe Bridget also picked this one up or maybe she already has it, I can't remember. Um, and then I picked up Sampler Tree. I just really love that bowl of oranges. Um, and I feel like it would be a real, if I do the tree, the Remember Me tree, this is a really good companion to it. So I picked that up. And then I really love these. This is the Homespun Hearts. She had the models there. Um, and you can do it in whatever colorway. She gives you three different options, these three different options. Um... And I just really love, I just think they're very cute. So like this plaid is stitched. This is not fabric. And I, I just really love the look of it. So yeah, that is all of the Hello from Liz Matthews charts that I picked up. Again, thank you so much, Liz. They are in a very happy home. And I will be petting them and looking at them and taking inventory of them um, for many years to come. So um, the next... Thing I'll talk about is Kathy charts. So I'll take you through her new releases. Obviously I've already shown you the Caught in the Swirl um, because obviously I needed to start that. But her other really popular one that also sold out at market was Vibrant Flowers. And this comes with a pin keep as well. And I really, really love the colors on this one. It's very like Southwestern um, with the colors. And then there's a little cactus, a little orange cat. Of course, that's jam. We all know that. Um, you know, I am loyal to my cat, though, so I might have to make jam um, a gray kitty for Vindaloo. But it's very, very cute. I, I want to like, start all the things. Here's the problem about going to market. 
I'm on a low starts year and Bridget and I were like, this is detrimental for our low start year because we want to start all of these things because you see the model in person. You're like, I need that up on my wall now. And I can't wait to stitch that the process of stitching it too. You know, it's like kidding it up. Oh, it's so fun. Anyways, I'm trying to control myself. Um, these were honestly like these were showstoppers. Everyone that came into Kathy's room were just, they would go straight for these bowls of these cookie cutters. So she had two, um, these were two separate releases. So I'll show you the first one. This is cookie cutters one. And these are adorable, like so small, such small pillows in person. And I think Bridget and I want to start this cat in particular first. I'm going to stitch all of them eventually, but um, I'm obsessed. They're stitched on 40 count. They're teeny, 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 tiny. So that was the first set. And then the second set, this is Cookie Cutters 2. And again, like all of these come in one and then all of those come in one. Um, and the cool thing about these is that the shapes are the same except... Cookie Cutters 1 has a butterfly in the corner there and Cookie Cutters 2 has the horse. But other than that, the shapes are the same, but obviously you see like the fill in, um, the design within is different. I'm obsessed with this squid and the whale. So yeah, I want to stitch all of those. Um, another one of her new releases, this is Peace and Plenty Farm. And this reminds me of like, road trips driving through Virginia like this east coast area of like rural farmland and just you see like houses in the distance on hills and cows and horses and it's so pretty and then um this was also quite popular and a lot of people I think are kind of looking to make this maybe like a birth sampler or like something to go in kids rooms but I love this so much um, this is animals at home, on the farm, in the wild, <laughs> which I think is so cute. Obviously, this is the at home section, on the farm, and then in the wild. And this is so much more vibrant in person. The lighting is like, we're having a very cloudy day here in Virginia. I have my ring light out, but the lighting's not doing it justice, but it is so cute. Lots of colors in this though, I will say. That that colors list, that's off the chain. Okay, and then those were all the new releases. And then I picked up a few of the uh, her older charts. Um, so this one, I had, I probably have seen this before, but seen it in person, I was, a lot of people felt the same way. They ended up um, purchasing a couple copies of this as well to take to their shop or for personal use. This is Sunflower Farm. And I think this was, yeah, this was released in 2018. I just love how moody this is. So we, I think Bridget and I both picked that one up. And then we both also picked up Mr. Thomas here, okay? Because the electric yellow bird with this pink butterfly situation it's so good. This was released in 2019. Oh, I love, I love. And then this is Nottingham. This is huge, but it's so beautiful in person. Um, this was stitched, when was this released? I'm not sure. But it is 293 wide by 180 high but I like, I want it. Cause really, you know, that's me and that's Connor. Um, I did think about the man is like kind of funny looking in a way like he's like, I love him, but um, I think Bridget talked about just like mirroring the woman, <laughs> just like having two ladies on it. And history will say that they were just friends. But yeah, I, I picked that up too and I think that was all I picked up it doesn't okay it is a lot but it's also like 
I almost regret not going a little bit more kooky crazy. Like I wish I almost bought more, but like it was it was a phenomenal experience. I'm so like happy with what I got. Um yeah, I don't know. Tell me what were your favorite market picks? What were your favorite patterns? What did you pre-order? What did you pick up from your LNS? I want to know. Um I feel like there were there are still more market picks that I'm like, "Oh, I really like that too," but like I haven't bit the bullet. I am trying to not like buy as much, but I did go all out because this was a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back. I'm hoping so though. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. Tell me what your favorite market picks were. What did you buy? What was your must start when you, when you got it? Um, and then I will end off with a couple of stitchy kindness. So a new friend, a uh, cat from Wicked Cat Stitch, um, she reached out to me on Instagram and she was like, hey, I got this fabric in a monthly club and I'm just like allergic to orange. Um, and I was wondering if you want to do a fabric swap. And I was like, absolutely. So um, I gave her some options. I didn't have a lot. And I don't have a big fabric stash, I will say. Um, I've dwindled a lot of it down, which is a good thing. I'm using it. Um, and I canceled my monthly clubs a while back just to save on some money. Um, but I went ahead and did a swap with her. She just started a floss tube channel. I don't know if she's posted her first video yet, but if you want to go check her out on Instagram, subscribe to her channel. I'm sure the video will be posted soon. I'm very excited to see. Um, so she sent me, well, first of all, she sent me a really cute needle minder, which I don't have right next to me at the moment. <laughs> um, and she sent me a really dope Night Stalkers calling thread that was like, and I'll show it next time, I promise. But, um, oh no, they're right here. Just kidding, yay! <laughs> it's like, I swear I put them in the same place. So this is the um, needle minder. Let me take it off. It's so cute. The magnet is huge and very strong. I love that. Um, this is her, I believe her Etsy. It's her business card. And this is adorable. It's a really nice like enamel um, situation. So she sent me that, which was very kind of her. And then she sent me this really, um, I love this. I haven't unwrapped it yet. This is Pumpkin Haunting. 20 yards by not Star night stalkers calling and it's got like obviously orange and yellow and purple and magenta pink i definitely want to do like a monochromatic halloween situation with that that's so fun and then this was the fabric that she sent me this is 18 count ada by v stitch me and this was i think the monthly color this month um if you were in the colorful club and this is we can't elope Oh wow, that's so washed out. It's so much more orange in person. That's crazy. That's not helping. But anyways, it's a really great orange. And I am thinking about putting my Bendy Stitchy Pocketbook Peacocks on this orange. Because I think that'd be fun. And I love Ada, like I'm so much, I'm getting back into, especially hand dyed Ada. It's so nice, it's so soft. So I'm very excited to use this. Thank you, Kat, again. I sent her some fabric that I dyed myself that she picked out and it's like a really deep, like grungy wine color. And it, I originally had stitched on it. So I offered to frog out the stitches but she graciously was like, no, I will frog out the stitches for you. Um, so I hope she's enjoying that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward. If you, in the future, I might, I, I'd be open to doing more fabric swaps with people. Um, but as of right now, I just don't have that big of a stash. But I was happy that I had something that she wanted and so that she could hand this to me, which was awesome. So thank you again, Kat. And then when I saw Bridget in person, I, um, she gave me this chart and a couple of silks. So she had had this in her stash and she just knew she wasn't going to start it anytime soon. Um, and I think I really want to start this next year, but this is Jane Hopkins. 
by Hands Across the Sea. Mm, yeah, I really um Sarah from Handmade by Sarah W here on Floss Tube is almost done with Jane Hopkins. Go check out her channel. I love like the whips she works on are all gorgeous. She color completes a lot and it's just like she did that on this and it was so fun to watch it come to life and now she's getting into these really big beautiful flowers. So I really want to stitch this but I want to stitch just the big vase on black Ada and then I want to finish it in like an ornate gold oval frame. I know, here's the thing, I like stitching on black Ada. I don't like stitching on dark linens. Um, my eyes don't love it, but black Ada, I'm right there. So I think that'd be really fun. So I was happy Bridget handed this off to me. Um, and then she also gave me these, these Stitch Me silks. So she just had these in her stash, wasn't sure what to do with them. This is called Hocus Pocus. This is called Jacko Lantern. Very cute. And then this one, this is my favorite. I think this one's called Vampire Kiss and it's black and red. And I'm like, a Night Spirit Studio, like monochromatic design is calling this silk's name. I think that'd be fun. So I was happy to receive those from Bridgen. Oh my gosh, I missed two pieces of Market Haul. Gosh dang, okay hold on two other pieces of market haul so we also Bridget and I went into um, Pansy Patch Quilt's room and her daughter is Blueberry Ridge Design her daughter's 25 they're both from Canada and I think I had shown this in my market picks I really liked it this is Pine Tree Shallow I love it so I picked this up from her and she they were both so lovely and then I also, I think Bridget and I both picked up the Birds and Blossoms sampler. I really love this short little house. I think it's very cute. And this huge checkerboard bird. And I picked up some of the overdies for that, kind of collecting those slowly. So I also picked up these and she was so lovely. And I totally, like, this was just sitting here and I forgot to talk about it. But anyways, wanted to show that. So sorry. And then the last piece of, piece of Stitchy Kindness is from my friend Megan, the Seattle Stitcher. She was de-stashing um, some things and I had mentioned that my fabric uh, stash is dwindling quite a bit. Um, and I don't have a lot of neutrals. I have so many colorful fabrics because that's what my eyes drawn to. And as you can see, even at market, I picked up colorful fabrics and there's nothing wrong with that, but I need some neutrals in my life. So she actually sent me a couple pieces of fabric um, and I'm very, very thankful. She's amazing. So she sent me 40 Count Flan by Be Stitch Me, which is funny. I do already have this fabric, but I love it so much. And her piece has a really light half and then a really dark modeled half. And I love it. And she was like, I, I love this, but like, I don't have anything in mind that I actually want to put on it. So she was gracious enough to send this to me. You can see it better like that. And here's the the lighter half there so pretty so I have a couple of pieces in mind um for this and now I don't have to be choosy with it because now I have two pieces of this um she also sent me a 20 out oh 28 count piece of fog by picture this plus this is a really great like barely dyed um Barely, barely, barely dyed neutral, which I love. And I need some more like bigger counts too in my stash. She also sent me her cut of 32 count murky. I think she had bought this for a particular project and she just didn't like how green it was. And it is very green in person. I love it. Um, and I want to find a piece for this. So that's what murky looks like. Then she sent me her um, cut of 40 count brown sugar, which I am stitching brown sugar, vanity sampler on brown sugar. But her cut, um, she gave me a one eighth here. 
this is so much more green than my cut. I love it. Um, but she, I think again, like she was like, I don't know what to do with this. So she sent me her cut of it. This will be great for like a nice medium size sampler or some smaller pieces. Um, so it'll be really great to pull from. And then lastly, she sent me a cut of 40 count alabaster. I think this is like the most neutral. It's just this really great, like almost pearl gray off white linen. So this will be great, uh, a great neutral to pull from. So again, thank you, Megan, for your generosity. My fabric stash is, you know, feeling much better now, thanks to all these people and their kindness. Um, I think that's it. That's all I have to show you for realsies. I am not going to talk about books or any, like this video is already so long. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank everyone for, everyone was so like, everyone was so nice. Everyone. Um, and it was just so lovely to meet people in person. And those of you that, um, commented and DM'd me and, and everything like, uh, wishing me fun and, and everything at market. Uh, thank you all. It was amazing. Um, and I hope I get to go back next year and I will film and take more pictures next year for real. If you want, um, to watch something that they actually did film and take more footage and it's a really nice fun relaxing vlog to watch go watch elizabeth and can stitch um i believe bridgen has not put out a market recap but she is planning to film later this week so that'll be out soon and then um liz from hello from liz matthews has already put out her market recap video um and she's so amazing and such a lovely human as well so i i just want to thank everyone again and I think that's it. I will see you next time with more stitching, a lot less haul, um, and maybe some books and some music to talk about and everything. So yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much. Again, if you are interested in seeing more from me, you can always like, subscribe to this channel, comment down below. Um, it helps me reach more people and I love interacting and reading the comments. So, and replying. So yeah, love you all and bye baby.